Hi guys, so today I thought we'd do something a little bit different as it's sunny. We're going to be playing outside and we're going to do the weaves. So I'll grab a dog and we'll start. Okay, so when you're starting the weaves, the best way I've found to start is by the two by two method. So you're just gonna have two poles and you're gonna teach your dog the entry, um, which is making sure they go in on their left shoulder at all times and you're gonna do that by going around in like a clock method. Take one away so there's only two left. So that is the wrong side. You want to make sure the dog comes in on the left hand side. So we're starting to understand what he needs to do at the 12 position, so I'm going to move myself over to one, two, three, and then go back the other way as well. finding 11 and 10 a lot easier than he is 2 and 3 because he has to go right round the first pole so when it comes to the second pole I'm throwing out that treat to where he would be to get round the third and fourth pole make sure the hand that is closest to your dog is the one that is doing your hand signalling or your hand movements to get him to go into the weaves and that there's not the treats there if the treats are there he's more likely to follow those than he is you so have the treats in the opposite hand. So when you're doing 11 and 10, have the treats in your right hand and use your left hand for your hand signaling. If you're doing two and three on the opposite side, then you want your treats in your left hand and your hand signal is gonna be on your right hand. Once you've got the hang of that, you then want to start adding in extra poles. Make sure to use the hand that is closest to your dog when you're with your dog. So if you're close to your dog, like with the weaves, then use your left hand if you're on his left side and your right hand if you're working from the right hand side. If your dog is ahead of you, leading on in front, then you need to use the you need to use the opposite hand in order to keep your dog in to the bit of equipment. So I will just show you that now. So that was my left hand because I was with him. Good. And that was my right hand to push him into the next bit of equipment. Now obviously a lot of you aren't gonna have steel steel framed um, weave poles sitting around at home so I'm just gonna go around the house and have a look and see what I can find to see what you can use at home as weaves. Okay so proper weave poles are exactly 66 centimeters apart. And what I've managed to find in the house is <laughs> bring you over here we have a hat stand a couple of Luro holders 
and a bucket. Also use chairs, don't forget those. Nice and steady and um, all you're going to be doing is you do your measurement from one edge to the other. So that's your 66 centimetres. Uh, luckily they're all weighted so they're quite heavy and I put water in the bucket so that's weighted as well. So I'll just space these out 66 centimetres apart and um, <laughs> we'll make the dogs leave through them. <laughs> So you don't need <laughs> proper agility equipment, you can just use whatever you can find in your house to start off with. And um, if you enjoy it, if your dog enjoys it, then go and find yourself an agility club afterwards. Good, I hope you enjoyed that one today. We've got obviously a lot more equipment to go around and stuff that's not even out. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.